from the enormous plaza at South Point. We got the title matches of four different divisions going on at once. Why four? Because it's our tournament of champions and simultaneous tournament of future champs, because that sounds way better than non-champs. And the handicapped future champs have been bowling awful darn fast there. The ninth frame of the title match already. This is Tyler Schley taking on Rachel Zaney. Rachel's got a win by 19 pins. And as it stands, it's fairly close, actually. Schley's got that 110 to shoot at, and Rachel gets a pretty important strike there in the ninth frame to set up her potential 10th. To their left, the other three title matches just getting started. So we'll talk about them a little later. Tyler only able to get one off of that piece of a washout, so give him 18 more there, so it's 138 to 153. That's with the handicap added in, so Rachel in excellent position to pick up a initial JBT win. No small feat to win in the handicap non-champs today. There was almost as many non-champs as champs that gave it a shot today at this gorgeous facility. And I think that 10-pin leave is going to be enough. In fact, I know it's going to be enough. Best career performance for either of these two bowlers. Tyler really struggled in his rookie season, as a lot of bowlers do, as you get used to all these different patterns different environments, different people and all that, so great to see him get some air time here in a title match. That 10-pin error is not going to matter, as her crowd knows. Non-champ no more. Rachel Saini. Dad got here just in time to see the end of it. He's on the phone already. That's Dad in the tan to the right. He's handing the phone over already. She is a winner. Good for her. Congrats to both of them. Part two is going to feature rotating left here. Austin Gilbert, the top seed in the Handicap Champs division, taking on Sergio Torres. Has had a good look here at the stadium. Speaking of good looks, Wesley Lowe, run up yesterday in the Invitational, taking on fellow two-ender Kyle Duster in a lefty-ratty no-thumb match. And then Zach Long, who chose to bowl scratch today in the non-champs version, he made a wise choice. He's the top seed. He'll be playing Tegan Smale for that title. But right now, hats off to Rachel, who is going down the receiving line right now, earning her congrats from her fan club. Well-deserved. <laughs> 